That is a hull sensor assembly for a Samsung front load washer. Originally, it looks it's encased in this and goes over here. Uh, but um, I went ahead and took it out. It was pretty easy. The silicone was uh, it came out pretty pretty quickly. These are the two hull element sensors. Uh, they're labeled H1 and H2. Uh, the red signifies uh, 5 volts VCC. We have ground here indicated by grain. And then H1 and H2 is the, between the uh, yellow and the white wires there. Now, really, on this board, it's really simple. Uh, so you have the two sensors. They actually have our ICs. They're integrated circuits. Um, so really everything that's happening here is inside these sensors. There is a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor here, 4.7 kilo ohm resistor here. There's three capacitors for uh, DC coupling and uh, uh, filtering uh, high frequencies, but really nothing much going on here. Everything's going on in the hull sensors themselves. Okay, so I got my meter set up. I'm um, supposed to read between the VCC and H1, uh, 4.7 kilo ohms, as well as from VCC to H2, 4.7 kilo ohms as well. So I'm going to take a look at my meter, see what we got. Okay, so we got 4.7 kilo ohms. That's, that's good. Let's test the second one out. Okay, I got that set up. Okay, 4.7 kilo ohm. So those two are good. Okay, and to demonstrate the hull sensor, I set up a pair of magnets from Magnetron. Uh, one with North Pole and the other with South Pole facing. So I'll show you how those work there. Okay, so we got the North Pole here. It's indicated by red. And then the south pole is into, uh, indicated by blue. Okay, what I'm going to do is pass the magnets across the hull sensor in two fashions. One, it's going to be in a clockwise fashion like this. And the other is going to be a counterclockwise fashion like this. i got the uh, DC voltage, 5 volts, hooked up to uh, the hull sensors. And... I got my scope hooked up to H1, which is going to be the yellow uh, scope waveform, and then H2 is going to be the blue scope waveform. Okay, there's clockwise. There's counterclockwise. Okay, if we... Uh, zoom in we can see what's happening with these waveforms is that we have one in one direction this is the clockwise direction um, h2 is going to lead h1 and that will tell the microprocessor that actually this the rotor is turning in a clockwise direction uh, if we go ahead and do it clockwise uh, i'll show you what the waveform looks like on that so in the counterclockwise direction, uh, we see if we zoom in on the waveform that H1 is now leading H2, and that will indicate to the control board that the rotor is turning in a counterclockwise fashion. I also found it interesting that these are latching sensors, and so that means that if you pass, uh, change the magnetic uh, pole on them, they will just change states and stay there. So in this case, they're both at 5 volts, and they're staying at 5 volts, even though there's no um, magnetic uh, pole uh, influencing them. So if we go counterclockwise, they just go down to zero and stay there. All right, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave your comments down at the bottom, questions, answers, um, suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you liked it, and we'll see you next time.